in Houston for the World Series, but also discussing the uh, remarkable release of 2,800 files overnight. Uh, the National Archives uploading this stuff to their uh, website. The stuff that had been withheld for as long as 54 years related to the assassination of President Kennedy. Uh, the current president, Trump, of course, says he's going to hold on to about 200 of these uh, for the next 180 days unless the CIA and the FBI can provide compelling reasons to uh, to continue to keep them classified. They, too, will be released at some point in the future. So uh, do we know uh, uh, do we know how many documents were held back? Well, I, no, but we do know that about 200 files. Now, each file can contain, you know, okay. one document perhaps sure. or hundreds of documents. So the, the number of documents isn't clear, but the number of files is about 200. Gotcha. Uh, and, and I know you're, you're bleary-eyed perusing all of these uh, files. Uh, <laughs> so far, though, it seems like the biggest news is that the CIA didn't know what they were doing. Maybe, I, you know, but I think overall it kind of gives us a new perspective on how other countries and other people were looking at this situation. You know, and, and maybe the CIA didn't know that the CIA did have operatives in in the Soviet Union, for example. Uh, one of them had been talking with Nikita Khrushchev. Uh, Khrushchev told this person he felt that uh, the killing of the president was the work of uh, what he called right wing Americans uh, with the help of uh, the Dallas Police Department. Same with uh, Lee Harvey Oswald. So Khrushchev had that view. Of course, people on this side of the of the Atlantic were thinking, well, the Russians must have somehow been involved. And I think that all points back to uh, Oswald as as a lone gunman. So I, I think that's interesting. It, it does show how, how perceptions have changed. And get this, when the FBI was looking at uh, Jack Ruby, the guy who killed Lee Harvey Oswald, in the document there it says, uh, it, it points out dramatically that Jack Ruby, whose real name is Rubenstein, uh, he also points out in that document that he may have been a homosexual, it said there. So those two things seem pretty relevant, that he was Jewish and that he might have been gay, and I don't know if he was or not, right. but that seemed very relevant to the FBI at the time. Right, yeah, no, so, right, I mean, they went, to, uh, I, it's just, it's now starting to leak out, right? I mean, there's thousands of pages, and they didn't say, oh, by the way, on page 42 is where they announced the Cubans were in on it, right? So, I mean, the his historians and news guys and you and me have to peruse this stuff for weeks until we figure out what's in it. Oh, yeah. I mean, there there are mountains of pages to look at here, and, it, and it's sort of... Uh, I mean, it, it, it's a gleeful day, I think, for people who are interested in conspiracy theories and all the rest of it. Of course, there are likely to be new books that come out of all these documents, too. Yeah. If you start looking at, uh, at the DVD, Dallas Police, by the way, had been warned by the FBI that uh, they had received threats on the life of Lee Harvey Oswald. They, they told DPD the night before uh, Oswald was killed and the morning of that they had gotten these threats to be very careful and DPD, the police chief himself, replied back, look, everything's fine. We've got this under control. Of course, we saw what happened on the morning of the 24th. Right, yeah. Uh, Jim Ryan, you're in Houston, as we said, getting ready for Game 3. You also covered the floods. How has Houston rebounded uh, now that you're there? I don't know how much you've had a chance to look around, but they are hosting the world for the World Series. So how, how is Houston looking these days? Well, you know, not bad. I mean, it, there are still areas that show uh, signs of the horrific storm and flooding that came through here and, and just parked over the area a couple of months ago. They, they, you, know, you had 75 people who died. Other, Some folks have left the city altogether and probably won't be back at all. <clears throat> but, um, I mean, overall, I think the city is doing okay. Uh, it's recovering quite well. The economy is still up and running, and, and oil is still the basis of that economy. And this is a chance, really, I think, for the city to put its best foot forward. You've got like 50 million people who will be watching on TV, and they will see ads placed by local companies, including Conoco, uh, showing how uh, Houston is on the rebound. Well, there you go. Jim Ryan, ABC News in uh, Houston. Jim, have a good weekend. Thanks.